welcome back to Benny's Take. I'm your girl, Benny, and today I am bringing back the fabulous Josefina Laurie. I know her as a model, a singer. You know, she be dabbling in the acting. She be everywhere. She's a content creator. She's doing all of the things. Please give it up for Josefina Laurie. Clap for her. Don't be acting fresh. Anyway, so today I brought her for just, you know, giggles. We have some fries. We have some tea, we have liquor. It's just like a whole situation. We're gonna take it where we take it. However, come a period, we are gonna be playing this game. Uh, you guys have seen me play the end. You know, it's a friendship edition, and we're just gonna go ahead and answer as truthfully and as honestly as we would like, you know, to answer it. And uh, we will go for, from there. But tell the people how you're feeling, how you're doing today. What's you know what's going on in your world? I'm feeling wonderful. We had a beautiful day today. We have hung out for a little bit, mm -hmm. and it has been long and overdue. Absolutely, so it was well deserved, well worth it, and I'm having. Beautiful time. We've had a few cups of tea. We've had a few shots of liquor. Mm -hmm. We, um, all of the above. I absolutely love that. And I think really it's important for you to surround yourself with people that are also in the same walk of life as mm -hmm. you. I feel like you're somebody that's like heavy on content creation, which is something mm -hmm. that I'm also, you know, into as well. So it's, you always have a perspective that I'm like, oh, you get it. Mm -hmm. Like in a yeah. way that most people, that I'm talking to well-meaning they just don't get you with somebody who gets it then they get it because they get it because other people will think you're being ungrateful because oh it's just a yeah. video no it's not just a video there's a lot that goes behind it a lot there's a lot there's more than just taking a video literally which... we have been <laughs> arguing with the sun all day long <laughs> do you know how many times did I move this table <laughs> Like, we done moved the table, we got Lillian over here, we got Patreon, like, this is a lot. Yeah. Okay, it so, like, be nice to your content creator friends, is all I'm trying mm -hmm. to say. Anyways, you know, take your cards, I got some for you, those are random, and now uh, we're just gonna talk and let it do what it do, because you are the guest on this show. Yeah, don't be trying to cheat, go ahead and shuffle. <laughs> the drama. <laughs> the drama. Go ahead and just, you know. See, I was always told I was extra from the time I was a kid, but the way that I was told I was extra wasn't like, oh, she's extra. My mom and my dad and my grandma would always like, oh, you're a ham. You're a ham. <laughs> so. What was, did you do with that growing up? I was just, I was very dramatic. I was always like, spotlights on me, mm -hmm. lights, camera, action. I'm gonna put on a show mm -hmm. and you're gonna watch. Mm -hmm. And that's how you will. Like. That was hey, it. Well, okay, <laughs> get it together. Um, all right, you go ahead and uh, ask the first question. Okay. The first question is, what do you think my work says about my character? I feel like you literally just answered it from a young age. You've had the personality of like camera, action, let's do the things. Like you're not somebody that's giving background, just mm. somebody that's like, you know, Main full front, energy. you know, like main character energy, <laughs> and I feel like, you know, the softness I feel like can show up in like maybe your personal life, mm -hmm. but like when it comes to work, you're very much like, I'm that girl, I'm doing the things, mm -hmm. and hire me, book me, let's go, that's, right. the, that's the energy. Absolutely. Uh, how do you feel safe? How do I feel safe? Mm -hmm. I feel most safe when I am around people who I can show my most authentic self, and I don't have to filter. The second I have to filter is when there's an issue because I'm masking. Mm. And with people who have ADHD and autism, they know exactly what masking is. It's when mm -hmm. you have to act quote unquote normal to fit the average stereotypical sense of what a person should be and how they should be acting mm -hmm. in, a, in a daily, day to day life. So when I'm with somebody who I'm safe and I feel comfortable with, I let the mask go, mm -hmm. I let the filter go, it doesn't exist and I act no different than the 13 year old self, mm -hmm. Joe would probably mm -hmm. be acting and I'm feral. <laughs> so what is like the no filter you look like? Is the no filter you a lot more expressive? Is she quiet? Is she, you know, adventurous? Is she flirty? Is she, what is like the non filter you? Or is it all of those things depending on the mood that I'm in? So I think for me, I, I've always been adventurous, I've always been flirty, I've always been all the things you categorize, mm -hmm. but for me, it's more so I'm very rambunctious and I'm very boisterous. What's your word? And 
I, vocabulary. <laughs> Word of the day. I'm very rambunctious. I'm very boisterous. And I'll say I'm collectively chaotic. Where it's not chaotic in a derogatory sense, but it's chaotic where you know that some shit's gonna go down with me mm -hmm. and it's going to be the best shit of your life. And I'm, I let my inner child run free when I'm with people who I feel mm. safe with. Because you can't experience that with everybody, unfortunately. I'm telling you literally, I am in therapy right now and I have been doing a lot of inner child work. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, sometimes it's almost annoying how many things go back to your childhood. It, yeah, there's a lot. It's like, I'm, a lot. it's a random Tuesday, I'm mad. And it's like, but why are you mad? Well, because Sally done pissed me off. But why did Sally piss you? Mm -hmm. You know, and you trace it far back enough. It's like the doggone mm -hmm. childhood. And I'm like, come on, be for real. We're, we're sponges when you're a kid. When that you're a kid, true. you absorb everything, mm -hmm. and whether it's negative or positive. And unfortunately, yeah, the positive things stick, but the negative things stick even worse. And it's learning those unhealthy habits from when you're a child that you did for survival tactics, mm -hmm. for survival mode that as an adult doesn't work because realistically you don't need those things anymore but we are so programmed to think that we need to yeah continue to do these things for survival when instead of survival we need to be living you can't be surviving if you're living living is, we, living we, is existing. a struggle yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think I, I heard a quote one time that said i don't want to just exist i actually want to live i want to mm -hmm. take up space Right. I want to do the things. I want to feel alive. Mm -hmm. I want to take risks. Yeah. You know, I want to fail. I want to get back up. I want to laugh out loud. Mm -hmm. I want to just like occupy, you know, the fullness of the space that I'm meant to occupy. Right. I don't believe personally within my faith at least that God has called me to just be out here, like, you know, cutting through the corners. Like, no, I belong here. Like, yeah. this is. I want to make an impact. I want to be present. I want to do the things. And I feel like uh, for people like you and I who are mm -hmm. very much like turn on the camera, let's do the things and whatever the case is, um, it can be a little almost like off-putting to people who are not like that. It could yeah. be like, oh, she's an attention seeker. No, this is how I am wired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I thrive doing this. Like I enjoy doing this. Like I, I feel my best self. You know, this is where not necessarily that our value is based on what we produce, but you know, us contributing to society, us, you know, giving of ourselves, giving right. of our laughter, of our jokes, of our, you know, human vulnerability. Experience. It's a human mm -hmm. experience that like we're, you know, we're engaging and stuff like that. And for me personally, that fuels me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's exhausting. And I know we started this up, but like, it's a lot of work. Yes, it is a lot of work, it's but it's it also worth it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because like, it's refilling to people Absolutely. like, you know. At least for me, but no, absolutely. Anyways, carry on. What's a financial challenge that you have that I don't realize? A financial challenge that I have that you don't realize. Mm -hmm. Um, I think not you as in maybe you, but maybe you as a general as thing, a mm -hmm. as a whole. When people think of like entrepreneurs or even like maybe content creation, the idea is that you got it. You just got it. Mm -hmm. You vibe it now. No, mm -mm. it's work. <laughs> no. You gotta work your ass off to get where you wanna be. You gotta work a lot. Mm -hmm. And even when you're not working, the mental toll of like, what if, what if, what if, what if? Because the right. thing with the nine to five, it's the safety of knowing that I'm clocking in, somebody else is responsible for everything right. else. I'm just like living my life, you know, getting a paycheck and then I'm done. Right. As creators, you are literally having to be like- You're banking on yourself. You're banking on yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you are banking on yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, and for me, I own a cleaning business, so. Even there, you're banking on yourself. Even there, I'm mm -hmm. banking on myself. <laughs> so we had a technical issue. Yeah, we had technical issues. I have no idea where we left off, but here we are. We're going to cheers to getting you back together. My battery done died, but God is good, you know. Mm. Dang, my tea is cold. My God. Go ahead and redo. Why you were sitting so early. You were not a twilight for tea. Might as well. Why? Fine. Let's. We're already here. <laughs> we are already here. We're living our lives. Eleven. Life. And you know, I know when. if you're one of my clients tomorrow, I'm not coming. Girl, why are you still going? <laughs> you didn't say when. Why are you still going? My God. <laughs> Yo, let's taste it. Let me try it cold. It 
is not bad. No. Oh. It is not bad at all. You know, you feel the liquor, but because of the sweetness, the brown sugar, it's like it's actually a vibe. It's not bad. Oh, it's like a spiced tea. Right? Mm. It ain't bad at all. If we put you on, better give us credit. Listen, if you are on tea, ooh. If you are among mixed companies, okay, and you want to be proper, go ahead and put your little tequila up in here. Especially. Just a little, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, your question. Okay. Chair. What is something Ooh. that you were sexually attracted to that you were also afraid of? What is something I was sexually attracted to that I was also afraid of? You know what's crazy? In my, in my years of playing this game, I've never gotten that question. This is my first time. Something I was attracted to that I was also afraid, afraid of. of. Like you, it turned you on, but maybe like you couldn't bring yourself to do it because you didn't know if you'd be judged for it, mm -hmm. or if it was something that was uncommon, or mm -hmm. you're just nervous to act on. This is gonna get deep, y'all. And you and I don't usually be getting deep on here, but here we are. Can't say this. Um, emotionally unavailable men. Mm. Emotionally yeah. unavailable men has always been something mm. where I'm just kind of like the allure of like, oh, they don't want me. I'm gonna do everything to be like to convince them that yeah. they should in fact want me. And so when I would get like a little attention with them, I, there was this one guy. Um, I'm talking about that baby and never did nothing for me. Like mm. as a person, never did nothing for yeah. me. But I was like so yeah. infatuated by him. Right. Just because it was emotionally unavailable, and it's like you know childhood trauma. Right, right. So that's just like what I was leaning more towards. And I remember one day it came really close to us, you know, uh, doing the doing the do, doing the do, like you know the the horizontal to zero. <laughs> it came time for us to do that, the little zozo, a little time. And in my heart of hearts, I just felt like yeah. yeah. It almost like the 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 rational and the loving side of me right. and honestly god really clicked in and was like this ain't for you this really that's not yeah. this ain't for you and in that moment i fully could have i'm talking about all way fully could have and i just could not get myself to do it and his reaction was even more telling that baby mm. got mad i'm talking about you could have shown i i oh, beat I up bet. his mom I bet. You could have sworn I fought his mama. That baby was like, he was pissed off. And it was just like, I was so sad. And I remember calling Tika. And um, I just called her. Shout out to Tika. Shout out to Tika. That's like my girl. I remember calling Tika. And I literally just like was on the phone with her, crying, bawling yeah. my eyes out. And she didn't say nothing. She, didn't, she was like, it's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. And I went home and I never looked back. I just never look back, yeah. which I feel like is one of like my greatest qualities. Um, oh, I can move on. Yeah. I, when I move on, I can move on. That's we ain't though. gone. We ain't gone. We not doing no. We're not backtracking. No. Mm -hmm. Grab your bonnet. I'm doing it again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Grab your bonnet. Gather your mm -hmm. belongings, and we gonna be gone. We gonna be gone. Like I'm not. I, I don't. I don't. Mm -mm, I don't reverse. I don't bust a U turn. I don't do none of that. It's done, it's done. And it's left, yeah. right, straight, and that's it. Get into it. Mm -hmm. I made the right choice because get into it. It's a fiance. Okay, don't play with it. It's a marriage. Listen, okay? <laughs> it's about to be a marriage. It's about to be a whole wife. It's about to be a husband. It's about to be a, a husband. husband. It's about to be a wife. Uh huh. Okay? <laughs> don't play with it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, what is something you should have done but didn't? Take your time with that one. I feel like there's a lot of things I should have done, but because of anxiety and the worrying of the what could have been, mm -hmm. I did not. I'll say in a career wise, there could have been more instances, I can't really put my finger on it exactly, but there could have been more instances where I could have applied myself more. Mm -hmm. And it was more so of the anxiety of not knowing what could have been that caused me to not have apply myself more. Mm -hmm. and I, I was talking to you earlier mm -hmm. off camera mm -hmm. when before we started doing this that sometimes for me the unknown is so scary that it's enough for me to not act on yeah it. and 
um, again, like I had mentioned earlier, being someone who's on the autistic spectrum, when you have a routine in a certain way that you do your life from A, B, C, and D all the way to Z, mm -hmm. when there is an extra letter or an extra number that's not in order, it, it sets everything off and you're like, how do I manage this? Yeah, what's going on? Even if it's the best possible option, mm -hmm. it you, you, you it's like, how do I have a response to this? And I think, all in all, everything has happened for a reason. Everything has happened the way it should have. Yeah. Could I have applied myself more? Could I have done things differently? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could I have worked harder? Yeah. Absolutely, because there's always room for improvement. Yeah. But um, I feel like just as a general sense, there are a lot of different instances where I could have done more to get a different response. Yeah. But in the end, am I disappointed in myself? Am I mad at myself? No. no. Mm -hmm. I'm happy where I'm at. I'm comfortable and I'm very proud to be where I'm at. Yeah. But I know that there's always room for improvement yeah. in the end. If you are willing to share for anybody that's also, you know, like you said, on the spectrum that, you know, uh, has that as part of like their story, how have you navigated and what's that one thing you can give to somebody to be like, hang on to this, you know? Not that everybody's experience is gonna be the same, but if you had to offer any insight of like how you've navigated, you know, um, life essentially being on the spectrum what has that been like for you so I can say that being on the spectrum there's a lot of anxiety that's involved mm -hmm. it's a constant wanting to be perfect and wanting to be a certain image that you have in your mind mm -hmm. and if you don't match that image it's almost as if well if I don't portray what I think in my mind then I shouldn't portray it at all mm -hmm. and it's almost like a, sab a self sabotage mm -hmm. and just as like a, a reference or an example I'll say for music for me, for music, I did not feel as if I was where I wanted to be for music, so I completely stopped doing it all together. And that happened multiple times in my life, but I kept coming back to it because it was something that I genuinely had a passion for. Mm -hmm. And would I have done things differently? Would I have, you know, looking back on it, would I have stopped doing this? Would I have stopped playing instruments, mm -hmm. doing this, whatever, whatever it is that was applying to that certain moment? I would probably, looking back on it, say, you know what, publicly, yeah, I would have not been public about it and I would have been more personal and just working on it behind the scenes. Yeah, in your and, own long time. Right, and giving myself the benefit of the doubt and know that, all right, even though I don't have a physical disability, I have a mental disability and I have to understand that just because I think differently doesn't mean that it's wrong. Mm -hmm. And I have to be patient and honestly, patience is so important. And we don't give ourselves the benefit of the doubt to understand that we have to figure out things our own way. Mm -hmm. And we have to be able to navigate life differently than what is presented to us based on what societal standards are. Yeah. So I think the biggest uh, sense of advice and tips I can give yeah. is to just be patient with yourself, but still be consistent. Mm -hmm. If you don't have to post about it, you don't have to be outwardly uh, boisterous or yeah, saying what you're doing. If you're doing it behind the scenes and you're still working on whatever it is that you're doing, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you're working on it to become better. Like you can actually move in silence, because I know yeah. a lot of you have been moving in silence. And she talked about it real before. Loud. <laughs> Every five seconds, I'm making silent moves. Nigga, be silent. Like, what's going on? Is it crack? What's going on? Be silent and do the thing. Because your work is going to speak, you know, for itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't you know have, what I'm saying? You don't have to post about it. If you know what you're doing and you know what you're working towards, just keep that goal in mind. And I think that the, it's, it's hard, and it's, I'm not saying it's easy because it's not easy, mm -hmm. but the best thing to do is to, at least for myself, I can't say for everybody because everybody's different, mm -hmm. but give myself leeway. Yeah. And again, be, being patient and mm -hmm. saying, I would like to do this on this day and when this day comes to actually set time aside and actually give myself time to work on it and be patient to do it yeah. and make sure that I'm not being judgmental of myself because again we want things to be perfect at this point <laughs> at this point y'all we're back camera done died again but we're gonna push through. we're gonna do uh, a card each yes. and then we call it a day I think it's your turn to ask mm -hmm. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna make sure I pick the most meaningful card. So I'm mm -hmm. gonna just sort through them. Okay. Let me see too. It's a secret. Let me stop. Yo, this tequila tea is hitting. It's nice actually. It's, it's, like, really it's like a nice. spiced tea. I had to warm up my tea because 
because I like I don't do first of all I'm a gonna rent iced tea and iced coffee is absolutely demonic <laughs> those beverages need to be hot there is no need for you to be having iced tea tea needs to be hot coffee needs to be hot fight me drag me add me add Benny stick add me all socials <laughs> Okay, ask you to live your life. Okay. It's our channel, we can do whatever we want. So my question is, what do you think I am learning from you? There are so many things to be learning from me because I'm multifaceted and you know Period. amazing in all of my ways. Absolutely. Like <laughs> Talk to um I don't know what you're learning from me. What I am hoping that people learn from me in general is that being yourself is enough. Like as you are, it's yeah, enough. Yeah. Your goofiness, you know, your thoughts, the way you think, the way you look, without changing anything about yourself, whether your character, whether like nothing, you are enough. You know, so I hope that you or anybody actually just like gets that. But I'm curious to hear from your point of view what you're actually learning from me. So off camera, Betty and I were speaking about how she and I are both very different people. And I was saying how when you are exactly the same as somebody or you have the exact same views as somebody, mm -hmm. in retrospect, you're not really learning much from them. Because that is you true. share the same exact thing. That is nothing to bounce off anything. Mm -hmm. As if, or, or in comparison, when, say, Benny, just a stupid example. Mm -hmm. If Benny says, the sky is blue, and I say, well, I think the sky is more so a hue of a light blue mixed with the green today. Mm -hmm. She can say, I can appreciate where you're thinking. Mm -hmm. However, this is why I think this is why it is. Versus if I were to be somebody like, oh yeah, no, you're completely right. You said yes man. Mm -hmm. Benny's not a yes oh, man. Oh my God, I do not do yes man. Benny's not a yes man. She mm -hmm. is, I'm going to tell you how it is based on how I, how I see it as it is. And I'm going to mm -hmm. be respectful about it. And we can talk about it to come to a compromise or agree to disagree in a respectful mm -hmm. manner. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I very much appreciate because it is up to me to decide whether I can agree or disagree mm -hmm. or further my introspection to what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I think I'm learning from Benny is being able to understand how other people are thinking in terms of example as of Benny. Yeah. And take that and apply it to my own life to be able to better myself. Yeah. I appreciate you saying that. And y'all, Joe and I are different. I could not tell you like there's so many ways in which we're different. You know, even our beliefs, you know, yeah. we, have, we have different beliefs and all that stuff. Key word that she said, and I want to reiterate, because some of y'all be out of pocket. You tell people respectfully and kindly and lovingly. Some of y'all be like, all I do is speak the truth. If you're speaking the truth without kindness, then no. You're just nasty. Opinion is an opinion. You, you, can't you force literally somebody. just are nasty. You can't force your beliefs on somebody else. It's up to them to, to accept what your beliefs are. Mm -hmm. If you are simply saying, again, the sky is blue, it's up to the person to be like, okay, you know, you're right. Or you can have a civil conversation, mm -hmm. civil, cordial. Mm -hmm. Like, I appreciate your, what you were saying, and, and, and I respect and, 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 and at the end of the day, if she still maintains that the sky isn't clearly blue, it's a hue of whatever the case is, right. then it is what it is. It doesn't mean I then go ahead and demonize her, or like, we don't have to agree on things. Mm -hmm. We just do not have to do that. And somewhere I'll be going out here just like doing the most. But as the respect that you know that not everyone's going to have the same experience that you mm -hmm. do. And it, it's simply, again, the respect mm -hmm. that your experience will be different from somebody else's. Absolutely. And therefore, their life experience will be different. How Absolutely. How perceive life. Absolutely. Go ahead and offer your offerings. Yes. Because <laughs> that was a word right there. You can go ahead, use the basket, okay? Go ahead and follow her, subscribe. That's your offering. That's your tithe. Okay, because some of y'all want a word for free. Nah, -uh. the give basket like. is going. Give, give a like, like. <laughs> give a comment. That's your offering. Okay, understand that your opinions are your own, and that your friends are not obligated to have the same exact opinions no, as yours. And you can learn from other people's opinions. Okay. If you and your friends have agreed since 09, mm. 
I'm not saying you're not friends, but it's like it might be helpful for you to disagree and see right. how the other person, you know, right. responds to that. Like, are they honoring of your boundary? Are they talking to you respectfully just because they disagree with you? Are they dragging you through the mud? Are they posting subliminal quotes right. on socials? Like, 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 are they doing all of those stuff? You know what I'm saying? So they actually value your friendship. Yeah. So don't shy away from that. Don't shy away from like you know misunderstandings. Don't shy away from like differences because it truly will make your you know friendships and all of that stuff stronger. With that said, thank y'all so much. I really really appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all showing us love. Please 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 check out Josephine's you know Instagram, her YouTube, all the music that she has on Spotify. Check out everything she got going on. Give us some new love. Stuff soon. New stuff is coming soon. She not playing me a song and y'all was humming it. I was like, man, why this song stuck in my head? Like, definitely, definitely check her out. Subscribe, do all of the things, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, Z. Bye.